welcome back to 4B's English lesson video. My name is Richard and today we have a special video and we are giving you a quiz from our school. Can you say some of these things in English? All right, let's take a look. So let's go on to the first thing. All right, this is what we use to get electricity from. Do you know what it's called in English? All right, there are two ways to call this in English. The first way is in American English, and that is called an outlet. The second way is in British English, and that is called a socket. So let's go on to the next thing. All right, let's take a look at the next thing. And do you know what this is called in English? All right, we use this to put into the outlet or socket. Do you know what it's called in English? All right, so this part is called a plug, a plug. And the plug goes into the outlet or socket. Let's move on to the next thing. All right, this is a whiteboard. And do you know what this is called in English? All right, so we use this to wipe off something that we have written on the whiteboard, like this. All right, can you guess what this is in English? All right, it's an eraser. It's an eraser. All right, so this is a whiteboard, but there's another board that uses chalk. Can you guess what it's called? All right, there are two ways to call it. It's a blackboard or a chalkboard. All right, great, so let's go on to the next thing. All right, let's take a look at these. Do you know what these are called? So I can do this to open them or close them. So we use this to block out the sun from coming into the room or to let in sun coming into the room. All right, can you guess what it's called in English? All right, the answer is these are blinds. These are blinds. All right, great. So let's go on to the next thing. All right, great. So let's go on to these things. Do you know what these are called in English? All right, so we use these to put letters or documents inside to send away. All right, so can you guess what it is in English? All right, these are called envelopes. Envelopes. All right, great. So let's go on to the next thing. All right, great. So let's take a look at this. Do you know what this is called in English? All right, we use this to keep drinks or food cool, or even sometimes frozen. So let's take a look inside. All right, you can see the drinks there. Do you know what this is called in English? All right, this is called a refrigerator. A refrigerator. All right, so for short, we call it a fridge. A fridge. All right, great. Let's go on to the next thing. All right, so do you know what this is called in English? This machine uses electricity to warm up food or drinks. Do you know what it's called in English? All right, this is called a microwave oven. A microwave oven or for short, we can just say a microwave, a microwave. All right, great. So let's go on to the next thing. All right, so do you know what this is called in English? All right, we use this machine to calculate sales and to give change and to keep money. Do you know what it's called in English? All right, this is called a cash register a cash register. All right, great. So let's go on to the next thing. All right, great. Let's take a look at these. These are loose soft shoes that you can wear in the home. Can you guess in English what these are called? All right, these are called slippers. Slippers. Great. So let's take a look at the next thing. 
All right, do you know what this is called in English? This is used to help you put on your shoe easier, like this. All right, can you guess what this is called in English? All right, this is called a shoehorn. A shoehorn. All right, great. So let's go on to the next thing. All right, so let's take a look at this machine. Do you know what this is called in English? All right, this machine uses electric to blow air around the room. And we usually use it in the summertime. So like this. All right, can you guess what this is called in English? All right, there are three ways to call this in English. It's an electrical fan, an electric fan, or just a fan. All right? All right, great. So let's go on to the next thing. So let's take a look at this. Do you know what this is called in English? We use this to change the settings or to turn power on and off for some things. All right? So in this case, this turns the fan on or off like this. All right, can you guess what this is called in English? All right, this is called a remote control. A remote control. Or we can say a remote. Just a remote. All right, great. So let's go on to the next thing. All right, do you know what this is called? In English? Alright, so this machine lets out cool or hot water. Can you guess what this is called? Alright, there are two ways to call this machine. It's a water cooler or a water dispenser. So water cooler or water dispenser. All right, great. So how many words could you guess? Please let us know in the comments which word or words you didn't know. So I hope this video was helpful in you learning some new things around the house in English. All right? So my name is Richard. Remember to please click like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.